Now since we are done with the introduction to addition and subtraction of fractions, let's discuss in this video, we are going to discuss about addition of like fractions. Okay, this is only for addition for like fractions. For like fractions. It's not for unlike fractions. Addition. Only addition, not subtraction. For subtraction, you'll have to wait for next video. Okay, addition. Let's say that I have this rectangular block. This is a rectangular block. And if I, if I divide this block into, let's say, one here, two here, and three and four here, these are equal divisions of this block. And again, one here, I have divided this block. Assume that these all blocks are of equal size. Okay. So I have divided this block into 16 equal, uh, you know, portions. One, two, three, four. Since we have four in the column and we have four rows, so this is four by four, that is 16. So we have total number of 16, <coughs> these equal portions. Okay. Equal parts or portions, whatever you want to say, parts. Now, if I read any five of these equal parts in yellow, now if I ask you that what fraction do these yellow shaded portions make of the whole, okay, you'll say that hey, total number of uh, equal parts are 16, so for yellow one by 16 and since 5 shaded portions, therefore it is 5 by 16. Very good, okay. Now let's look for the red one. If I take any 4 blocks shaded with this red one and if I ask you that what fraction do these red shaded portions make of this whole? You'll say that, very simple, you have 16 equal portions and 4 are shaded with red, therefore the fraction of the whole covered by these shaded portions, red shaded portions will be 4 by 16. Now if I ask you that, what fraction do these shaded portions make of the whole all together, combining red and yellow both? Just Look at the shaded portions, doesn't matter whether they are red or yellow, what fractions do they make? We'll say that, that's simple, we have 5 yellow and 4 red, so yellow, sorry, so red plus yellow portions will make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 by 16. So this will be the fraction made by fraction of these shaded portions of the whole all together. Now you can, if you properly look at, look at this fraction and look at these two fractions. Can I, can I, if I add these two fractions where, you know, this denominator is already 16, we have 16 here. If I add 5 and 4, like if I add 5 by 16 and 4 by 16, this is actually 16. If I add 5 plus 4, then it's coming to this one. That when we try to find the combined fraction of red and yellow. Now if I if I'm adding them separately, it's is it giving you 9 by 16? 
that is equal to this one. That's simple and that's our addition of like fractions. So what you have to do is if you are adding two like fractions, like in this case, why, do, why these are like fractions? Because the denominators are the same, that is 16. These, that makes it like fractions. So this is like fractions. What you have to do is look at the like fractions denominator, okay? Write it as it is, denominator. denominator and then add the numerator this n1 means the numerator 1 for this one this is n1 and then plus n2 that is the numerator second numerator basically what I'm trying to say is that you have just take the denominator as it is because it is a like fraction and then add the numerators okay when whatever you will get the result will be the final fraction actually okay that will be the fraction uh, addition of uh, like fractions now is it only uh, you know can it be only possible for is it true only for two fractions no it's you can uh, do this for n number of fractions so if it was like uh, 5 by 16 4 by 16 and if I take some another so let's say that this whatever color it is so if it is 2 by 16 this these two colors make 2 by 16 then since now we have added two more shaded portions therefore it will become 11 by 16 here this will become 11 by 16 and if you add 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 2 is 11 you can again see this if I add in this portion if I add this 2 by 16 It's 2 by 16 it's making it 11 by 16 right so it's true for true for n number of fractions doesn't matter how many fractions you have the main point is if you have uh, like fractions this will be the way like you can add as many numerators you want divided by the denominator as it is okay let's take some more examples let's take if I have uh, 2 by 7 plus 9 by 7 plus 16 by 7 plus 1000 by 7. Okay, if this is the case, again, all these fractions are what? These all are like fractions. Why these are like fractions? Because we have divided these fractions into what? Into uh, sorry uh, the denominator of these fractions are are same right so if the denominators are the same you will the first step is write their denominator that is 7 right this will be the first step take the denominator as it is then the second step will be what and add all the numerators so this is 2 plus 9 plus 16 plus 1000 right if you add these 9 plus 2 is 11, then 16 plus 11 is what, 1727, this will be 1027 by 7. So this will be the way to do uh, the addition of uh, like fractions.